According to the World Health Organization today, nurses are at the forefront of fighting epidemics and pandemics by providing high quality and respectful treatment and care. International Nurses Day celebrated on May 12 all over the world. This day highlights the importance of nurses in the healthcare sector. And more importantly, International Nurses Day marks the birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. These several activities are conducted worldwide to thank the nurses for what they do. According to World Health Organization, historically, as well as today, nurses are at the forefront of fighting epidemics and pandemics by providing high quality and respectful treatment and care. And in today's world, the COVID-19 pandemic is a stark reminder of the vital role nurses play. For those we have lost, we will mourn them. They will not be forgotten. And as we honour and celebrate what they have done, let us commit that their legacy must be, will be, that we will build stronger health systems together. Before the applause and the clapping fades, we will make sure that our leaders commit to action to ensure this happens. The theme for International Nurses Day 2020 is Nursing the World to Health, focusing on the role of nurses globally. On this International Nurses Day, the World Health Organization urges countries to ensure occupational safety and health of nurses, their mental health support, especially for nurses who are working round the clock during the COVID-19 pandemic, hampering their own mental health, financial support to nurses and providing them essential resources which can help them respond and control COVID-19 and future outbreaks. And today especially, we say thank you to nurses round the world. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye. Thank you, Amaka. Joining us live is Aliyu Daube of the International Committee of the Red Cross. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you for inviting me to. So on this day, as we celebrate the nurses, it would uh, be right to ask how you are faring in the face of it all, especially uh, with COVID-19. First of all, I will start saying and thank you for the, the, the country and especially all over the world. Uh, yesterday marked that day when we have the International Nurses Day. Uh, we sent a release saying that uh, we still remember the nurses. We acknowledge their assistance that they are doing across the world and we are very supportive of them. We remember them very well at home while they are busy working uh, out there supporting us. Uh, everyone would agree that nurses are most at risk as well as other healthcare workers during this period. Does it bother you that um, they are more vulnerable as they struggle to live out their commitment uh, of saving lives? Absolutely, they are very, very vulnerable. They have we've seen this uh, already in the past. We have nurses have been attacked during conflicts like this, during uh, epidemics like this. Uh, 2018, we have a very good experience of this in our organization. So uh, this is very, so, very uh, well for us to recognize, to know that nurses and medical staff can face challenges. They can face discrimination by people in the communities. They can also face discrimination by even their own family members. Uh, when they see people working closely with COVID-19 patients, the ability, the possibility for the for their uh, families uh, is also to say, okay, maybe my my, my husband or my wife uh, is, is is also affected. So this way, this one may actually affect them psych psychologically, and also not just their families. Communities can also see them as people who has uh, who, who have had contact with the COVID-19 and may likely uh, face harassment. Sometimes even it can go to uh, attack of. Uh, medical health staff. So this okay. is something we've seen. 2018, we've had uh, medical, two medical staff killed in the northeast of Nigeria during conflicts. Uh, we still remember them. We still have them in our mind. We cherish them. We acknowledge them. We still have them very much uh, in our hearts.
Um, on a lighter note, could you paint for us as quickly as possible uh, the picture of a celebration of this day before the advent of COVID-19 uh, by your organization? Yeah, celebration of this day, usually we celebrate it and linking it actually to conflict uh, because medical staff are always attacked in conflict situations. People need medication. The need of people during conflict is actually very high. So the celebration used to be acknowledging the support they are giving during conflict and violence across the world. Today, it's something different. Uh, we are celebrating this, uh, applauding them also because of uh, the support they are giving in, in natural disasters in healthcare services and this is something very very key to everybody not only people affected by conflict but including me and you and every other person that is listening to this program thank you very much uh, mr daube for joining us on the news thank you for inviting me and happy uh, day i wish you the same and to all nurses watching happy international nurses day